Good evening. It was a huge night at the Legacy Center for both the McNeese men's and women's basketball teams as they each hosted New Orleans for their regular season finales. We, of course, begin with the Cowgirls as they were up first for senior night as they honored their six seniors. But once the game got started, we were treated to a good one. Keely Chamberlain takes it the length of the, length of the court but gives it off to Divine Tanks who finds the bottom of the bucket. Later on, Leshenay Stubblefield loses the ball, tiptoes, on the sideline saves it and in the end they find Desiree Hansen who knocks down the triple. The Cowgirls led 30 to 23 at the half and in the second it was more of the same. You see Keeley Chamberlain with the beautiful spin move here in a second. She gets the bucket to go and in the end behind a fourth quarter that included a 16 to 2 run. The Cowgirls would end their season with a 68 to 56 win. Here's coach Kennedy. I loved how our seniors stepped up. I I went with the five seniors that were playing, Zuza still hurt, and so just in that moment as a coach to have your seniors step up and actually kind of blow them out at the end is really impressive, and, you know, and not many coaches are able to do that. I thank our whole team that allowed me to play them in that moment. I don't know what the scenarios are, but we may play them again on Monday too, so it was a good win for us. All that being said, here is a women's bracket for next week. McNeese finishes as the sixth seed with an eight and one, eight and ten, excuse me, conference record. They'll face seven seed New Orleans, who, like Coach Kennedy said, there they played tonight. They'll play them at 1:30 on Monday in the Southland Conference tournament. The Cowgirls, of course, beat New Orleans tonight at the Legacy Center, but fell to the Privateers a couple of weeks ago. And it